Native animals were some of the biggest casualties of the black summer bushfires, but they're now getting a helping hand on the long road to recovery. A new way of creating tree hollows is providing shelter to wildlife after the loss of so much habitat. It might look drastic, but this drilling is all about protecting the environment. As the tree grows and matures, then so those hollows will actually mature with the trees and they'll become even more like a natural habitat. Naturally occurring tree hollows became a lot more scarce after the black summer bushfires. Vaughan Kirky's north coast property narrowly escaped the disaster and has become a refuge for wildlife. It was a bit of a heartbreak to realise that they'd been displaced. Around 300 species of birds, reptiles and mammals rely on hollows for shelter. But it takes at least 70 years for hollows to form on their own. What the whole hog allows us to do is to rapidly form a hollow in a tree um, and sometimes multiple hollows in a tree and speed up that natural process. Matt Stephens created the technique and he says the old method of using chainsaws was far more damaging to the tree. You can literally just take off uh, that much of the living material keeping all of the rest of the tree's structure in place. We've had uptake by some uh, lorikeets, we've had bush rats, we've had an antichinus. There's growing interest in this technique among conservationists who are struggling to deal with the loss of habitats caused by bushfires. Hence, another 600 hollows have already been commissioned. A step closer to Matt Stephen's goal of creating a million new homes for wildlife. Michael Liu, ABC News, Pillar Valley.